Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine a split or create a split histogram of two paired scale variables uh, using R, specifically RStudio. The default packages I have uh, installed are the following and uh, I'm getting a few errors there that's because I haven't restarted R yet. Um, I'll load in some data and and that's going to be my data and as you can see I'll show you the data it's just two variables before and after uh, each uh, on a scale of 0 to 100 and there are a few missing values in here but that doesn't matter now I'm gonna split my uh, histogram because I want to split histogram into two columns so two uh, two rows actually and one column so it's gonna be splitting up this area up here into two so that's been done now and then the first histogram is going to be my data before. Uh, I want to see frequencies. Uh, the main title is going to be before versus after. And the breaks are going to be at uh, zero. The first one, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. Now, this will actually create an error uh, because uh, figure margins are too large. But if I increase the size of the plot area for now and run the same line again, it nicely shows the uh, before results and then the same for the after results and now I have a nice split histogram and I can go for the zoom option and as you can see it nicely has created a split histogram this is uh, one way of doing this uh, I'll reset my uh, window to that it just uses one there is also an easy ggplot2 package that can do a nicer version uh, it's a little bit uh, actually the same as my other video on split histograms and the trick is now to adjust the data into a long format so what I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna store this under my data 2 uh, that's the same data but then uh, now uh, called differently uh, in there I'm gonna add an ID variable which is simply going to count the number of rows and it adds simply ID to the whole thing uh, and then after that, uh, let's see if it's actually done that. My data too, you can see there's an ID variable. And then you know, what I can do is I can use the reshape2 package to actually convert this from a sh uh, short or uh, to long. I'm going to install the package, or actually it was already uh, installed, I'm just loading it in. And then use melt my data2 based on that ID variable. Once that's done, I have my data in long format. Um, so I've before uh, the ID variable and the values, and the same for after uh, the ID variable, the, ver uh, the after versions and their scores on after. Then I can actually uh, install DevTools, and I also need uh, ggplot2. So let's load those two in. And then finally, I can. this is all the same as the other video on uh, split histograms. So ggplot2 uh, dot histogram, data is my data long now. My x name is the value. So that's uh, the scores here. And the variable is the splitting variable. So that's gonna be variable up here and there. I wanna use eight bins, I don't know why. Uh, Festing is true and this should give me a nice looking uh, split histogram uh, it seems to be giving me all kinds of errors today don't know why so just in case let's do a restart R version uh, let's go all the way back to uh, my data that needs to be loaded in and then just in case uh, let's load the easy ggplot2 and sorry for this uh, and also let's do the it seems to have remembered my data long so even though I restarted R so let's see if this actually and now works and yes there we go we now have a nice a ggplot um, a split histogram with before and after I'll zoom in just so you have a better view of this thing and as you can see the before and after it seems that the after seems to score slightly better than the before but we'll need a statistical test to actually verify those results I hope you found this video helpful 